video i hope you're all having an amazing day this morning i've just cleaned my room like legit absolutely spotless so i've made my bed mm-hmm you about the floor oh look at luna she loves just like getting really comfortable on the carpet and then just sleeping there for the rest of the day and um <laughs> This is my outfit of today. So I've got this top right here that mum bought me. I absolutely love it. And I've got some matching socks to go with it. Some orange ones. I really like them. And then just a black scrunchie. I found tons of scrunchies. And I'm so happy because I found some of the ones I've been looking for for so long. So guys, now I'm going to go downstairs. And I'm going to play a Monopoly with the family. A few hours later. We're going up to the North Sea and um, to a nice seaside location that we've never been to before. It's about an hour's way from where we live and it's called Newton upon sea. By the sea. Newton by the sea. By the sea. Um, so we've got that little beach, never been to it before. There's actually a castle there as well, so that should be interesting to see. I don't think it's open to the public. It might be, it might not be, but I think the thing we get up there um, it might be closed, but we're going to go and have a look to see if it's open. Um, sometimes during the six weeks holidays it do open for a lot longer but as you guys know the current situation that everyone's in most things and times are all different so we're, we're not going to know until we get up there a lot that's of things need to be booked online don't they now yeah, as well so, so yeah. we, we'll wait and see so we're going to head up here and get this car to 70 maybe we can get there a little earlier yeah it's been um, beautiful weather, hasn't it, the last weather. couple of days so as well? We've been beautiful weather, so that means to say, take a lovely picnic again. Yeah. Um, so, wow, that picnic basket's getting some use out of it, I've noticed that. It is, yeah, um, I love having our little picnic. And you just popped into Poundland and you got some uh, stuff, didn't you? Yeah, I'll probably show you guys when we get on the beach where I go, but honestly, I'm going to go back in there, I think, um, probably tomorrow. But they've got so many good things. Just because I was in a rush today, I didn't want to, like, be spending all day looking around yeah, there. Yeah, which you would but, do if you give, if we give you the time, you would do that. I'm yeah, sure you would. but I was walking past and like, oh, that looks nice. I've got some good stationery for back to school as well. So we'll catch you guys up a little bit later on when we are at our next location. So we've arrived at our location, not where we were expecting. We've came down some country roads down here, like single narrow roads. Um, on the pictures on Google map it looked like you could actually just park right next to the beach but it actually looks like we've got a bit of a hike across those fields to do which is always fun gonna go and enjoy that um, came to this car park here which was a pay in display but because after six o'clock we don't have to pay so that's another good bonus but it was not what I was expecting I was expecting to be like parked right next to the beach there's this cute little road for a nice village right next to the beach on the picture and then we end up here for some reason Maybe I'm on the wrong side, I don't know, but we're going to hike across here and then I might be able to see where like the beach is or where yeah, that I'm picture is. You think? Yeah, no. Oh, so there's the tracker. Why am I pointing that way for? Is that just like a country walk, is it? Yeah, I think you might be able to get that. No, well, we'll just go your way because every time you take my way, I always get lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, um, Caleb just woke up. Are you being feeling sleepy, Caleb? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, little I Caleb. What? Your toys down here. She's mm -hmm. made a mess of dad's car already. Come on then. We'll get the picnic basket. We'll get walking. I'll take that bag. Lovely. I used that weed killer the other day in the back side street. Doesn't seem to have worked. Right then, let's get walking guys. You guys have got everything? Yeah, we've got everything. Caleb's a little bit a bit grumpy because he just woke up in a bit of a not a grumpy mood I think it's just the way he's been sleeping and he's a little bit like uh, like didn't want to wake up kind of thing but he was like crying and complaining a little bit on the way up about 20 minutes before we got here so I was like hmm what's wrong with him it be, be coming on well but um, I think he's just tired is he tired Stephanie is he yeah I think it was just because you know when you fall asleep yeah in the car and like you're uncomfortable in it. I was just saying that. Well. Uh, 
Oh, that ice cream van from Is it? That ice cream picture? Yeah. So this is where we're at. I'll just show you guys now where we're at in case you're thinking about coming out for a nice adventure yourselves. Um, we are... Let me get this right. We are here. We're going to walk across to that part to get to the beach, don't we? Yeah. See, I thought the road that i seen on the internet, it could drive down there and you could park there. But we've ended up all the way over here instead. But we're at Newton Links. arrived at the beach and it still doesn't look like what it looks like on the picture. I think we're on the other side or something, you know. I don't know, like it's so confused. It's, I think it's because it's very misty that I can't see like out in the distance, but on the picture you arrive down this road and then there's, you come onto the beach and then there's a castle in the distance. It's all misty, so maybe if the mist cleared, we might actually be on the beach that I've seen on the picture. If not, I think we've came to a complete different beach. But I think we'll go and find that other beach now because that, that's bugging me. Do you know when you when you set out to do something and you don't do it? I feel like I have to go and find that beach now. So we might spend some more time here and go and find that other beach. Or we might just spend the full day here. Yeah. And leave that beach for another day. <laughs> but I have to yeah. find it. I just have to find it. But it is such a big beach, guys. Like, yeah. I can't but, imagine this getting too busy. Um, and we've got some sand dunes up there as well. Well, have a look, guys. It's like... There's hardly anybody here. It's like dead. These are the beaches you need to hit up, isn't it? When the heat wave comes. Yeah. Beaches like this, beaches that people don't really know about. <laughs> um, but yeah, the water looks really calm over here. Nice and relaxed. Beefam, look at the jellyfish. I am not going in that water now since this jellyfish. Look at the size of this one. That is huge. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at the jellyfish, kids! <laughs> right, what are you looking at? I think that's part of one there. I'm not, I don't think I'm going in that sea now. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely get slow. Yeah. Look how I mean, there's people in the sea, but... Yeah, maybe if we we'll walk further along, we might be on. Stand up. Yeah. <laughs> so short. I have to... No, you're short. Oi! Look how big it's still a <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you silly billies. So, be from one of the things that I bought from Poundland was this like little frisbee thing. It's called a fly ring. Um, honestly, this beast, is so it? good. It goes really far. It's really good. Four pounds. I mean, that's amazing. That. Let's see how far it goes. Yeah, let's see if I can capture it on camera. Come on. Yeah. I'm not getting that. I don't know if the camera picked it up, guys, but uh, it's all the way it. along there. Fall up. Stay. Got a fly. Woo! Oh, so close. So close. Look. Then this is the other thing that I got from Paula, which is basically bubbles inside of a spade but the spade like extends as well i don't know if you guys can see like this little part here it goes back down and makes it shorter is that fun logan yeah i've got my picnic basket that you guys seen in a couple of previous vlogs ago and we've got some crisps and everything in there
we've got some tuna mayonnaise, we call sandwiches there. We've got some bottles of pop for the children, some crisps for the children, some sweets for the children. And then for me and Sean, we have a energy drink as well. Didn't she look dead grown up with that tattoo on the side? Yeah. You got a real sweet sweet. Okay, so this is Dan's outfit. So we have a jumpsuit that I showed on the um, hall. Then a bum bag, which is really cute. And I got as an early birthday present. And then my hair in curls. Some face glitter. And a tattoo to go with it. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Yeah, the tattoo makes you look really old. It makes you look about 15 years of age. <laughs> yeah. We need to go. Okay, you go and get some water. Go, on, go with them, please, because the jellyfish are in the air, water, and there's loads of them they're everywhere. Be yeah. careful when you guys go down. Okay, stay away from any jellyfish. And you, you, you fill it up, from, please. Yeah. Yeah. You need to get my shoes. I'll just just leave your shoes off, yeah. I've got talc so we can clean them. Vinegar in the car. Let's have a look, doll. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, yeah, there's a little red there. Oh, you okay? Uh huh. It stings oh, just really, really what do you, bad. John, what do you do for jellyfish thing? Vinegar, I think. Vinegar? I'm going to have to look it up. Yeah, I'm not well, sure though. Are you okay, sweetheart? <laughs> oh, it's a beast. Oh, they're huge. They're huge. I thought I had a short show and it's so big. Dangerous that looks. They're big, they're big though, I've never seen Yeah, really there's loads of them all the way along the beach. So Stephanie's just putting away the picnic and the rest of the stuff. And I think, if you like, we could just go to a different location because I can barely see like a centimeter in front of me down here. Yeah, we can just have a little nice drive. A little missy. How about we go up to uh, Berwick? Yeah, we can go up to Berwick. Have a little walk, a walk up to Berwick. <laughs> have a little drive up to Berwick, yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> walking up Berwick. <laughs> I mean, it's about 15 minutes away from here, so even that far. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 15 minutes in car, can you imagine us trying to walk to Paris? I think that would probably be like an hour's walk from here, wouldn't it? Yeah. We'll drive past Haggerson Castle as well. Oh, we'll get started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sea is dangerous, guys. So, as you guys have already seen, Dion has been stung, she thinks, by a jellyfish. She's not sure, um, but she's still in a bit of pain. I think she could have stood on something sharp, I'm not too sure, but a little bit of like red marks coming down it now. We'll get to show you guys a little bit later on. Um, but what have you guys been doing? You know, we've got the sea cup. Oh, wow, this looks cool. You're making a fortress. I'm going to live right in. You're going to live right in now, you Logan? Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> easy. Welcome. I'm so scared, guys. What is it meant to be, guys? Um, a home. A home. A home. <laughs> Is it where you want to live? Because Logan says that's where he wants to live. Yeah. Well, that's where Logan wants to live, but I want to make a <laughs> hole, put a pole over it, and then go. <laughs> I'm actually so happy it did it. Imagine if it did. It's like quite scary. <laughs> I just caught Dion talking to our boyfriend. She can't leave the house without texting somebody. Calling somebody. Just getting all embarrassed now. <laughs> yeah, so finished our walk as you guys can see. You can barely see a foot in front of us. And when I come to new beaches and stuff, I'm always like sketchy on like when it's really misty because you don't know the tide schedule, how far it comes in, how far it goes out. So whenever I come to new beaches, unless I like know a lot about them, I'm like very hesitant to how long I'll stay on it when the tide's coming in. The tide's coming in pretty fast now. 
And the last thing I want to be doing is scrambling up those sand mounds or the sand what? Dunes. Dunes. Sand dunes. Somebody said those sand mounds to me a long time ago. Now I've learned that the sand dunes. So, <laughs> which I think sounds a little bit more weirder, but I'll go with it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't fancy scrambling up there with the kids if it gets if the tide comes in. Um, I, I can't we were, believe how far we've walked out. Yeah, I was quite surprised how far we went. But two boys all the way back there, little dots as you guys can see. But that's how bad it is for visibility. But that's why we're leaving here a little bit earlier than we wanted to. Uh, but it's been refreshing because it's much cooler here than it's been like in the city. Yep, definitely. So we're going to have a little drive up to Berwick, up on Tweed, have a little drive around that area. It might be dark when we get up there, so we might not show you guys much, but we're gonna have a look up there. Just gonna have a little drive out, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, a little drive out, a little nighttime drive, and um, get the kids out the house, off the games and stuff like that. And they've been doing really well at their schoolwork lately, and I've kind of been spoiling them with the Xbox and the games and saying, I'll just go on it at five o'clock. Um, you have some money to spend on your game, there's some V Bucks, things like that. And just to get out the house with the kids for me it's better for like their mental well-being because if they're at school they'll be doing a lot more exercise than just sitting around the house all day and um, but the kids go back in september don't they yeah september yeah just so yeah you're meeting with lucy you, or you got a meeting with lucy coming up haven't you yeah i've got a meeting with lucy yeah um i had one a couple of days ago yeah I've got another one like every week I get them just for Caleb and his speech therapist. So, yeah. You know, it's no, very happy. Good. good. Yeah, it's got nothing in it. Yeah. Right, we're at the exit, so we'll catch you guys back up at the car. Time of the night, um, driving past those scary roads, and the mist was a little bit scary, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was something like out of a movie. Yeah, I felt like it was in, like, a Halloween movie or something. Yeah. But um, I'm absolutely like road wrecked, guys. I've driven for about an hour and a half now, and I don't usually drive this late, like, it's about 10 o'clock now. Yes, yeah, to 10 be honest with you guys. So, gonna end the vlog, go ahead and to bed. I'll catch up with you guys in the next one, which will be Caleb's birthday party, and I know Caleb's looking forward to it. I know that you guys are looking forward to seeing what Caleb's getting as well. So with that being said guys, as always, our beautiful B fam. Hashtag be yourself. Hashtag be different. That being said guys, good night.